Macro is the most overpowered way to make honey or really just progress in bee swarm. So today I'm going to give you guys a complete guide on how to set it up. Now starting off, you need to join the Natro Macro Discord server. There is a link to this server in the description. And after you make it into the server, you're going to go over to the Natro Macro tab. There's like a tutorial page and like blocks link and stuff. This doesn't completely matter. Just go to Natro Macro and download the latest version. So we'll just go and click the direct download. Yes, this message will pop up for you guys don't worry it is safe and for anyone who is wondering no you cannot get banned for using macro both the download and the program are completely safe on it does allow it don't worry you will not get banned now once your file completely finishes downloading you want to go and click on it to be honest you'll actually find it in your downloads folder so what you're going to want to do is right click on the zip folder and then you need to go down to where it says extract all click that find out wherever you want to extract it to usually i just put it in download and then just give it a couple seconds this could take literally just a couple minutes or a couple seconds in my case. Now, after your folder finishes downloading, find it wherever you saved it to. My folder is right here, so I'm going to double click on that to open it up. And now you'll see all of these folders. I actually have some pretty good advice that I've never seen in any other macro tutorial. For now, though, we're just going to really quickly click start. You'll get some little things popping up and boom, your natro macro will open. Now, keep in mind, in order to actually open this folder, you need to actually have auto hotkey itself downloaded. I'll put a link to this website in the description. But if you don't already have this downloaded as well, you need to do that. Also, by the way, keep in mind, this doesn't actually work if you're on a Mac. So if you are on a Mac computer, just know, don't watch this guy. It will kind of be wasting your time, but I am going to post a video, hopefully in a few days, explaining how to actually macro on Mac. So just visit my channel again in like a week. Anyways, now back to the macro itself. There's a lot of random buttons and crap, so I'm just going to give you guys a complete walkthrough on what you need to do. Now, keep in mind, even if you are an experienced macroer, there is still something I highly recommend doing. Now, of course, when you macro, if you're a blue hive, you're going to be macroing for honey. And so no matter who you are, just go and click your respective field. We're just going to assume that I'm a blue hive. So we're going to go to pine tree and then you'll actually find pattern shape. Now, once again, this is only for blue hives. If you're going to macro with tide popper, but you'll find all of these paths that you can use. And you actually don't want to use any of these because there is a more efficient path you can use, which you have to download separately. If you're wondering where it is, just go to my discord server and scroll down to the AHK macro section and you'll find the three downloads right here. And yes, the link to join my discord is in the description of this video. So once you have them all downloaded, that's when we're coming back to these. Now, what you're going to want to do is double click on your patterns folder. You'll find all of these and you're going to get the file that says sign shift redux and drag it in. After that, you can exit patterns and go over to path. And that's when you'll drag in these other two files, the WF pine tree and the GTF pine tree. And this just helps make it more efficient. It's just a better path. So now that you've got your new path to close natro macro and then go and reopen it and and now we can move on to the rest of the guy. I'm just going to select Pine Shift Redux. Now, here's some important tips for everyone else. For starters, I highly recommend all of you turn on Drift Com. Now, what this basically does is whenever you're macroing, you're kind of just moving around and sometimes you end up outside of the field. Checking the Drift Comp button just makes so that way you stay in the field. But keep in mind, this only works if you have the Supreme Saturator Sprinkler. So if you have any other sprinkler, it won't work. You can do Gather with Shift Lock if you want. I'm pretty sure you'd actually want that if you do the Pine Shift Redux. And then we can go to the Go to hive section. Now, what you're going to choose here depends on where you are in the game. If you're an end game blue hive, then you're going to be getting most of your honey from balloons. So you can just go to hive by reset. Same thing if you're an end game red or white, but mainly if you're just like an early game, like extremely early game, and you just want to keep the honey in your backpack and you don't make much AKA if you have like no instant version, I'd recommend going to hive by walking. And then if you want to do other fields during the macro as well, you can go and click those and do the exact same thing. Now we're about to move on to collecting kill tab, which in my opinion is one of the most important ones. But really quickly, I do have to cover the settings tab because if you don't fill this out right, your macro will literally not work. So please pay attention. Like seriously, you must do this right. For starters, you can choose your hive slot. It's numbered one through six. If you're in this hive slot right here, you're in the first hive and then two, three, four, five, six, all the way down the line. If you don't know, just do six to be safe. After that, fill in how many bees you have. I have 50 bees in my hive, but please do put in the right amount. And then there's actually a private server link area in case you have a private server that you want to macro in. But you'll actually notice that if I go to my private server and try and copy the link and then go over to the macro and paste it in, you'll see unresolved private server link. That's because this technically isn't a valid server link. What you want to do is copy your private server link, open a new tab and paste it in. Then it'll do a little bit of loading and the link will actually change. Take this new link up here and that's the one that you want to copy and paste into your private server area. As you can see it works. And then of course, if you want daily reconnect, 
connect and whatnot. You can do whatever and always check fall back to a public server in case it goes wrong. Now, after that is your movement speed and it is extremely crucial that you get this right because this is the one singular setting where if you're even just a slight bit off, it will literally break your entire macro. So what you're gonna wanna do is reset your character to make sure you lose any bear more and you want to make sure that you have absolutely no haste active whatsoever. As you can see, I have times 10 haste right now. I'm gonna wait for that to go away and you're gonna go to the settings tab in your system. It's just this little gear icon right here. Roll down and right above jump power and defense, you're gonna find your movement speed stat. Once again, make sure you have absolutely no haste activated. Make sure you don't have an oil active either or a super smoothie or purple potion. And then you'll see your movement speed number. Mine is 33.5. So in the movement speed section, I'm going to put 33.5. Now for your movement method, this just depends on where you are in the game. If you can use the red cannon, then just always do movement method by cannon. But if not, you can always move by walking. Don't forget to put in your correct sprinkler type. Of course, I'm supreme. And then if you're a blue hive, you want to always convert your balloon. So just check it to always. But you can also change it to like every few minutes. Like if you're a white or red hive and you're just macroing to keep your balloon blessing, I'd say just change it to every 50 minutes. But now that you have your settings correctly filled out, we can move on to the most overpowered parts of the macro. Just two quick things I have to say. If you're an endgame blue hive macroing for honey, make sure you reset about every eight minutes. That's a good amount of time to macro and pine. And then if you actually want to be able to track your macro, just go to change discord setting, go to your own discord server, click edit channel, go down to integrations, go to webhook. You can create a new webhook, go down and just copy the webhook URL, and then just go ahead and paste it in there. The discord setting is just extremely useful, but now we can finally move on to collect and kill. But now we're on the collect and kill tab. Now starting off, you always want to have the clock ticket. This is just good because it collects your wealth clock and you can get like 125 tickets a day from this. Honestly, more. I think I did the math wrong. You can do mondo if you want, just if you're farming for mythic eggs, just be warned, this does take up a lot of time. So in my opinion, it's not too worth it, just up to you. You can also collect your ant passes, which are really good. Just make sure that you don't have the use ticket section on because that is a real way. After that's your memory matches, do what you will. Just make sure you don't accidentally click extreme if you're poor. 25 million honey might be a lot for you. And then of course there's the options. You guys can figure this out. It's not that complicated. It's just whatever you want and don't want to be selected. Then for your dispensers, I always like to keep the glue and robo pass tabs activated. Anything else for me is honestly just, there's no point. But if you're an early game, I would recommend doing the royal jelly as well, as well as the tree blueberry and strawberry. Then there's the beesmus section. Don't worry about this. But if it is beesmus for you right now, you can just do whatever here. After that's your bug run. Now this is where macro comes in handy for end game red and white. Because you really only macro for honey if you're early game, mid game, or an end game blue. Because late game and end game red and white hives literally just don't make honey from macroing. You want to macro these. Things. Keep in mind though, this tab is not limited to end game players, I promise you. Even if you're early game, these are extremely important, such as just checking all of the bugs. This essentially just gets you a heck ton of fruits and battle points. Battle points can help you towards that one badge that gives like critical chance. I always like to make sure I click loot because it's just free stuff. And then if you have a gifted vicious bee, make sure you put in 20% monster respawn time as well as allow gather interrupt. Keep in mind though, if you're trying to macro for honey, a bug run will take up a lot of your time. So if you're macroing for honey, I recommend just doing the werewolf and after that's your bosses do what you will here i just keep king beetle and tunnel bear active along with baby love coconut crab is good but it's also kind of tough and you can also macro stump snail if you want after that's the stingers tab basically if you are anything but an end game blue hive i would recommend having this on it's just helpful do the kill vicious bee and it'll search all these fields if you only want a little bit of stingers you can just do daily bonus only but i don't recommend that to be honest and then there's wind shrine you can just do something simple if you want like a single red extract it'll just donate for you and then for the sticker stack you really don't want to do this unless you're end game but since i'm end game and i am rich i can just do auto sticker printer and have it auto donate a basic egg every single time now please make sure you don't accidentally check this box because it is very dangerous checking the sticker stack means that your character will go and use the sticker stack one every however many minutes and that could waste a lot of tickets for you so only do this if you're hardcore macroing for honey as an end game player now whatever you do please make sure you are not doing anything but tickets otherwise this will donate all your stickers. So I just like to keep this off. Then there's quests. This is pretty self-explanatory. Just enable the quests that you want. This can help if you're trying to get like Dark Scythe or Tide Popper or something. Just keep in mind, enabling either Bucko or Riley B will make it so that way your auto ant pass automatically gets collected. Just After that, there's planners, which in my opinion are probably the most overpowered part of macro. Like people just don't realize how OP they are. Essentially, you can set up your own, do your own crap, glitter, do it to full and do a bunch of stuff. But if you're lazy like me, you can literally just set it to manual. Just go up here and select whichever hive color you are.
far and it'll automatically just show all the nectars right here just harvest when it's full grown and if you're really macroing for nectar only gather in the planter field and then check off all the planters that you do have as well as all of the fields that you're comfortable macroing in and then if at any point you're macroing and you want to see the progress just click f5 on your keyboard and this little menu will show up just kind of giving you a rundown of all your planters but with that said and done you guys are now free to macro to your heart's content go have fun exploding your electricity bills and setting your pc on fire it'll be a great old time i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i just try and make the best guides possible for you guys so if you're here at the end of the video and you made it through the whole tutorial all i would ask is that you just subscribe it really would mean a lot also because it'd be really cool if we could get to 200,000 subscribers by the end of this year but with that said thank you so much for watching b swarmers hope you enjoyed the tutorial have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you all in the next video